Well, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV, where we are once again joined by, what shall I call you this time? Oh, what's the, it? The, 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 the wonderful, the spectacular, the amazing Chris Adamo. Chris, thank you once again for being here. Thank you once again for having me. Right, today you're going to show us a technique, mm. aren't you? So yeah. you've, you've got something quite unusual looking behind uh, you. Yeah. yeah. I've not seen anything quite like that before. Oh, good. Well, so what... First of all, what is it? And yep. then we'll move on to how you're going to create it. What is it? I don't know. Let's uh, put that to the next question. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the question yeah, of the yeah, week. Yeah. What would Look, you it, call this? It's, it's a, just, just a tapered cone shape, yeah, right? okay. or a cylindrical prism. Uh, a quick way of making it using quick links. So I was always very frustrated with, um, uh, if we're doing Christmas trees or, or whatever it may be, uh, the method using quads yeah. or layers of five. Um, and came up with this idea. We had a, uh, a bat cave we had to build um, and lots of stalactites and stalagmites. Oh, right, okay. So, and uh, they actually had to be helium inflated as well and floating from the ceiling. So I couldn't use too much stock, couldn't yeah. be too heavy. Um, and with, with this as the example, we, we over inflated the last um, few pairs and we had some 16 inch, like a quad of 16 inch high floated okay. and that would hold it in place. Yeah. The equivalent, we had a base uh, with you know, 11 inch yeah. down on the ground with a water weight and that would give it vertical support. Yeah. So, you know, really cheap, easy. I've used them a lot of times in, in similar caves, um, some other sculptures, if it's like a tail or a leg or a, you know, whatever it could be. Yeah. Uh, I just thought it was something that I, I, you know, hadn't seen before and I wanted to share with you guys. Yeah, no, that's, well, I've never seen anything like that until Good. right now. So, okay, so what do we do? Cool. Well, it's, it's kind of based off the chain weave, right? So with, with 260s and whatnot. Um, so we, we create two lines of quick links. Yeah. Uh, however, the size, um, you could build this all with the same size link, but then it wouldn't taper. Okay. Yeah. Um, but uh, so the size scales down in this case um, using the premium twin size. So we have 1.8 uh, down to 1.4, 1.0, 0.9, 0 0.5 so that you would have noticed how the sizes there we were dropping in 0.4s yeah. except when we changed to lowering the nozzle size mm -hmm. um, but of course when we did that we had to lift the time size because there's less pressure coming through the smaller nozzles okay, yeah. um, but look those sizes we we just put together didn't we yep. um, it could be anything you like and you could scale it up scale it down smaller increments would you get, give you a very very fine tapered uh, shape, um, we're you know losing 0.4 at a time, so this this whole shape could have been double the size with the same amount of tapering, which I love about that. You can't yeah. quite do that with stability and rigidity yeah. um, using unframed quads. I've got a question. Yeah. Where, when do you use the smaller nozzles? Well, I use them for the six inch links. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So five inch or six inch. So because, smaller balloons, you put the smaller nozzle. Yeah. The, the the thickness of the neck on the twelve inch uh, is perfect for the the, the valve size. Yeah. You can hold on to that, get a nice seal with your hand. However, um, you know, getting a six inch doesn't fit. Okay. Right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so it just so helps to quickly and and efficiently put that over and create a seal perfect. once more with your fingers. Yeah. yeah. All right, okay. so let's get started. Um, so what we're, we'll, let's make a smaller one. Okay. So we'll just knock off the first two layers. So we're 1.8, 1.8. Yeah. So let's start with our 1.4s. Now, one thing I should mention is um, when the balloon is a little bit smaller than its intended size, uh, there was two things that I did there. The first I pull it like a little bit of extra latex over the valve. Okay. All right, so I'll show you again. Pull that neck down so we're inflating to the top of the balloon. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So rather than trying to expand all of it, the uh, what we're looking to do is is stretch the colour so it's it's more continuous. You see the step down here. Yeah. Right. If we can avoid that by stretching these balloons a little, just that extra little bit more, it'll thin the latex and help with the consistent colour. Okay. Yeah. The second thing I do is when I tie that knot, um, I'm going to just tie it really tight and push the latex through. Uh, so I'll show you again. Neck down. <laughs> Give it a little bit of a stretch. See my hands are coming over that mm -hmm. neck. All right, so I'm going to then use a bit of the actual body of the balloon yeah. in tying my knot. So you can also then you know, stretch it later if you really want to. Uh, the process of the connection that we're going to do um, will, will help stretch that as well. Okay. So we're putting these balloons actually under quite a bit of duress. Yeah. Um, so we start with the, uh, we have two chains. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I like to build them together as one. 
uh, otherwise you're not changing the machine as many times. Yeah. And we start with a common size. So it's going to then start to come in on itself from here. However, as we expand out, we have to decrease left and right. Yeah. So we're no longer tying in pairs, unfortunately. It's a little bit more time consuming. So let's build chain A, chain B. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's 1.4. We're going to dock it down now to 1.0. One at a time now. <laughs> I can't stop that habit of two hands yeah, on there every time. All right, so pull that out, tie it on. Now for chain B. Yeah, did it again. Yeah. <laughs> I, did it again. I think you've got, a bit, you've got a bit of flair the way you do that. I like ah, the yeah, way you like do that. that. It's just a natural, <laughs> natural flair. Yeah, it's just, just sort of clicking around. It over. Yeah, I like the it. balloons is like an act of love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too sure what to say to that, Chris. I have to be honest. It is a dance. <laughs> Okay, so now we drop it to um, uh, 0 0.9, but we're stepping down to 6 inch. Okay, now, so. so 6 inch quick links. Uh, correct. Yep. And we drop the nozzle, 0.9. And uh, you know, with these machines, what I did then, is it, it was 0, 0.0, and I went down one, which got it to 0. 0.9, rather okay. than going up 8 steps. Yeah. Okay, 1. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now th this has come out a, a, a oval shape. Yeah. So I'm just going to round it a little bit right, with my hands before I tie it off. A little bit of continuous, uh, like keeping the shape a continuous shape. So you're a big fan of the quick links? I love them. Yeah, look, I wish I could use them more in my business, to be honest. I, I love building um, sculptures and structures and, um, you know, uh, the, the you can scale up so quickly, can't you? Yeah. You yeah. Know, we've built... Um, yeah, some of the biggest stuff would be a hot air balloon. Um, we did a giant uh, dance at Stedford. So it was, it was pretty much real life, maybe nine meters by six meters. I think I've seen that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, yeah. Was and they amazing. lit it up from behind. Yeah. And uh, what we did was set the outer chain. It was just sort of the front facade, but still curved. Yeah. And we had a larger on the outer, and then with an inner skin yeah. that A held integrity, but B it pulled it tight, so the inner yeah. skin was a little bit smaller. Yeah. So by using those methods of, of uh, the two arches with a differential in size, you can create curves yeah. um, and just do wonderful things with it. Yeah, so. yeah that was amazing. Yeah. There's a picture <laughs> of you in front of it, isn't there? I think I've seen some. With, uh, with the arm fold. The, the usual arm yep, fold. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a classic. It, <laughs> a little side note, my staff gave me a, a, a birthday present with a calendar with all the, the, from the juniors down doing arm folds. So okay. the girl that makes sandbag weights, <laughs> stand, you know, to, you know, answering the phone, that's great. So you should have that as a corporate calendar, you should do yeah. it. We do a wall planner every year, so you yeah. can do a wall planner and What's send it to your customer. It just does being silly, just, just yeah. I, I can't remember. But uh, yeah, we did some photographs in here and it was, it was quite good. I'm folding my arms now, because you said, fold. I never fold my arms. <laughs> No, it's funny. We actually have employee of the month. All right. So okay. we take photos of them all with an arm fold and it goes, gets framed and the employee of the month gets up there. <laughs> so what do they get employee of the month for? Um, oh, look, it's, it's voted by, okay. the, by the team. So we, we have like a Google form. They fill it in uh, each month. We, we used to be the quarter, but we've just started to have okay. it in each month. And they win a little prize and just, you know, a bit of fun to, you know, help boost morale. It also gives an opportunity for staff to write something yeah. about the staff. So the winner gets some lovely bits of feedback that we can announce. Oh, I like this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I can see this this coming over. Oh, to, here we go. You don't market. have that. We have, we have a star chart. Yeah. So we give out ch stars. Yeah. To each Good. other. Good. Yeah. We nominate each other for stars. All right. Just drop down to point five. Yep. So you could even have lots of these chains pre-made yeah. and, and click it together on site. And in fact, if there was two of you, you could be inflating two at one time. Yeah. Hand it off, All right? So a little bit more. And there we go. Okay, now for the fun part. So might just click this out of the way. Out there. 
Okay, so we've got our two chains. So if you're a twister or if you've seen the chain weave, this is mm -hmm. what it's based on. We overlap one above the other. And it's very important at this point that the two knots don't integrate and make a Because you'd naturally want to do that, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, this is actually going to naturally fall in there okay. as we lift our first chain up and over. Just try and keep the knot in the middle, okay. in, in between yeah. the balloon itself. Okay, so give it a stretch so that the, the balloons are stretched both above and mm -hmm. below so we don't put too much strain on just one balloon okay. as we twist it around. Okay, so that's going to sit in the middle. And then the next, this is the, the quick part, is we just lift and wrap. Lift and wrap. That might look complicated to somebody watching, but it's watching this closely. It's very simple. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's really so easy. just just that in, that inflating, um, knowing to start with the two at the same time, individual sizes left and right, and work your way out. Yeah. yeah. Play around with the sizing at home, because um, it doesn't have to be this. Just like all, all we did is a, a mathematical drop of the same number or proportion, and yeah. even if this was a little bigger, it wouldn't matter if that was a little, you know. Um, but what I just love is the finished texture. Like I was saying, and you get this a lot with quick links. And you know what, like as a, a side note, I think it's very important with any build to think about the texture before you start. Yeah. Right? The texture determines the method. What do you mean? The overall texture the overall of the texture. finished Yeah, product. yeah. Okay. I, I did an elephant out of um, pretty much all 11 inch, like life-size elephant. Yeah. Maybe you pull it up on the thing as we talk. Okay, yeah. Uh, life-size elephant, and I used a duplet square pack method. Okay. Everything I'd seen to date was quick links. And I found that texture to be too rough yeah. because quick links externally with an X grid or other patterns usually have five inch junctions. And that variance between the, the 12 inch link and the five inch junction created too much noise. Okay. Right? It was too busy and messy. Whereas the method that we did with duplet square pack rings had one continuous texture yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was very even yeah. and um, didn't sort of take your focus. So you could see the piece as one, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I always, when I teach, uh, try and instill Think of the, the texture or the method that provides the texture and the variances between yeah. before we start. And uh, you know, the expression, um, if all you have a ha is a hammer, everything looks, looks like a nail, right? Yeah. So with yeah. Edu education, if you can get multiple tools, multiple techniques under your belt, then you can pick and choose. Yeah, yeah. Speaking cool. of belts, yeah. I've got to point out what you're wearing on your belt to everybody. Let's move all that right. out of the way. This guy here. What, 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 explain to everybody what that is. Um, is that specifically made for the balloon industry? Is the answer? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Look, I um, I love my tools. I love my hardware shopping, and uh, I get I get uh, paid out a little bit at work for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Spend a little too much. <laughs> um, but but it's just great because um, you can click it on and off. So just click under your belt, right? Quick release. It's got a little stand when you're working. Yeah. Uh, a couple of things, you know, pens and whatever. Um, I love the. Um, just, just scissors. You see a lot with the the pullout and it's still connected. Or whatever, and, yeah. Yeah, but, but you're cutting something up high and it stops. Yeah. You know, especially my arm reach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was really the main purpose. Uh, but little things like spool of nylon, I thread it through this port. Okay. And so once it's threaded through, I can be up a ladder, pull it, pull it, pull it. It rolls inside. Yeah. Right, yeah. and then cut it, and then it's ready to go for the next piece. Um, You'd just be amazed that even like having these little things on there, you, you, you need a counterweight and you can quickly loop it and create a pulley or you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But it's just light and easy and um, you know, I'll, I'll have different things in there from time to time. Like cable ties will go in here or yeah. uh, my phone will go in there. <laughs> um, that's good. So you're up a ladder and somebody calls you and you take the call. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is fun. Actually, being up a scissor lift, you get your best photos. Yeah. Yeah, when you yeah. do the job and you're looking and, oh, and, yeah, and, you, course, yeah. and you go down and you get your phone out and quickly take the video going down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> the, the other thing I've got here is um, uh, a little laser distance measuring tool. Yeah, yeah. And um, so it has a little laser pointer. So not only can you, you know, measure the distance from point A to point B, which looks very professional to, yep. to turn up and get a quick measurement of the room, um, but, it, but we can just sit with the client, talk through the space and point at different things and, yeah, um, yeah. you know, get my coffee over there, please. Very professional, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Brilliant. Like every job I take it, you never know what you're going to do. I just need. wanted to point that out because yeah. that's something you just buy in a hardware store yeah. and find $20. One, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you can make it your own and, and make yeah. it work for you. Brilliant. I thought about getting some company branding, even uh, magnets. All right. Yeah, yeah that's that, great. that was by accident. Yeah, <laughs> but, oh, fantastic. Uh, I'll chuck a couple on there when I'm yeah. getting up and I need it. That's yeah. great. Anyway, okay. sorry. 
back to this. All right, so the last step is we tie the last pair. And the very last two. Okay, so you could call that finished. Yeah. Yeah? But I like to um, just finish it off with some five inch. I like the way it doesn't roll away as well. <laughs> it does help them. it. And get our reduces back on. I think we've got to call that the Chris Adamo technique. Just <laughs> the, the, the flicky thing. I, I, think I have great. had 10 days in Spain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just, just as a little point, right? What were you doing in Spain? Uh, holiday with right, family. Okay. Yeah, nice. yeah. Nice. So we had a, a wonderful time in Seville. Uh, met some other balloon friends. Okay. Uh, just com completely by circumstance. Yeah. Fantastic. Pablo, yeah. hello. Um, and uh, we went to um, uh, Cadiz and um, the, a, a whole bunch of places. Oh, fantastic. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah cool. I'll tell you what, I can, I can happily not see another cathedral for a while. Though. <laughs> 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 All right. So there we go. We're, look, we are done. That's great. So you could have started it here. Yeah. And, and with an installation like this, I think the size variance yeah, is very important. That's brilliant. You know, uh, and you can play around with depth. So easy to click in. Um, that's a really great technique that I've never, yeah. Could never be a Christmas tree. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. You yeah. can mix the colors, obviously, yeah, so that's great. Okay, Chris, as you now know, as a guest on BMTV, you get to ask the question of the week of the BMTV Nation. Oh, question so have of you the got, week. Have you got another one? Um, hmm. Well, my question for this week is, when are we going to have an interview with Greg? He's interviewing everybody else. <laughs> we want to hear his story. Write that down. Yeah, yeah. Leave your yes comments no. down below. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People are just say no, 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 no. I anyway. wanted to interview him. He wouldn't <laughs> let me. <laughs> anyway, Chris, thank you so much for that. That's a great technique. Thank you so much for, for, for coming all right. the way from Sydney just yeah. to do this. Hey, if you use this, uh, please let us know. Um, yeah, social take media, some wherever. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, uh, you know, I think it's a versatile shape, um, but we want to see some more you know, uses of uh, this technique. Please. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. All right. Cool. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for subscribing. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.